this first piece of music is, uh, is uh, uh, just part of a project I was involved with last year. It was with some friends in Liverpool and uh, it's you know, an artistic response to quantum physics. So this is just an aspect of it. So uh, it's called Unseen Designs. I see. I 
shaded bristles on the neck, soft, blonde, boyish ones. Maybe it was tall. He wasn't shy tiptoeing from the bath to the bed. He held the towel out of his hand. He dried his neck and grinned. San Francisco full of orange and yellow nasturtiums, eucalyptus trees, red wine, hamburgers, and art. Cats, beads, espresso coffee on Haight Street. He wouldn't be seeing any of this. Jack was a soldier, not a tourist. He hadn't come to Frisco for flowers or peace. He called it Frisco, the way big westerners did, not really knowing the reason why old movies, I guess, shipping out from Frisco. But flying was different. It happened fast. I asked him on the plane, an ordinary United Airlines flight. I got on in New York. He got on in Chicago. I just asked him, not beating around the bush, did he want to? He did. I knew I would hold him all night and do all the things an 18-year-old boy dreams an older girl might do to him. It was a war movie before battle. Bob was his name. I held him all night. I let my fingers go everywhere. I opened my body. This way. Come this way. It was a very warm night. There mustn't have been any fog. It smelled like lemon groves, 300 miles away in the San Fernando Valley. Pete was his name, I remember now. I drove him to the airport in the morning. All I could say was goodbye. The war took two more years. It took me 30 years to remember this. I just had an idea, you could hear the voice, so 